Okay, we are back. Excuse the compressor is in the background. We're not going to be really use that for painting. I got some secret weapon terracotta. I want to brighten up that rust a little bit. So I got my little, uh, I think this is a Chamia spoon. So we need very little of that. Um, this, this stuff goes a long, long way. And then um, I got some, this is someone I think we should all have in our kit. This is some Tamiya uh, Clear Red. And I'll show you what we're going to do with the airbrush with that. Let's um, get some of that in the brush. There we go. I need to put it right there, but it doesn't work. And this is a spotting tray. Get this in scientific um, uh, sections of Amazon or eBay. Look for a spotting tray. These are porcelain. You get them plastic. I don't recommend those. Porcelain are so much easier to clean, and uh, I just like the feel of them. They have a nice heft to them. And uh, what else do we need? We're going to use. Um, so white spirit for the uh, get a couple of those going. That's for the pigments. Let's so insert some of the pigment right now. Like almost make a paint. There we go. Kind of dark but it'll lighten up after we hit it on there i want to go in the places where there's rust already so let's just go like this little area this is going to add some texture and we do have a little bit of texture for the paint coming up and then we have um the varnish over that and then also those little dumb areas where i made mistakes and here we go we can fix it we'll put a rust there Where's another spot? We'll put some rust in there. And this will add some more rust too if you want to. Almost like a paste. And we're going to have to hit this with some varnish again. Which I wasn't thinking about because when I do the, um, the splattered blood effects with the uh, clear red, I'm, I didn't want to... Well, maybe we'll just leave this. I'll see if it stays on. Groups. Right there. There. Okay, I'm going to take the same brush. I just cleaned it in water, which I probably shouldn't have done. This is a crap brush. Literally. So, I'm going to see what this does with the airbrush. And um, I'll do this on camera. I don't have enough air on it. Might have to turn the air up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Get a little more paint. And this is going to be like some guy put the narrative on here. Let's say a guy gets shot and then lays down and his arterial spray comes on the back of this wall here. Maybe not thick enough. There we go. Well, there we go.
do one more little spot right here. There's a little too much green. Let's get a big chunk and get it real close. And I know my hand's in the way, sorry. Nice. So you have a lot of people bleeding to death everywhere. And let's do a couple on the front. Uh, you know, maybe some guy fell right in front of the barricade. We got shot or a little more paint. Look at this. It's got to be real close to the brush. And nice. Look at that. That looks like some the streak of blood comes all the way around. And let's do one little one in the front and we're done. We don't want to overdo this. There. Show you what it looks like up close. And this is a clear red, so it's not going to be. But it does look like uh, someone splatted blood all over it. We have one right there, too. <laughs> We're going to be overdoing it, but oh well, it's fun. And maybe back this off a little bit. Oh, there we go. I have it maybe about three quarters of an inch away. And that gives it the kind of that splatter look. We got one looks really cool. So let's call that done. Um, thank you for joining me through this little adventure of uh, printing. I think this was a, a misprint and ended up to this thing. And um, washing that crappy brush. Then the airbrush is already done. So I'm going to clean out this and then. Um, this is cool. I'll maybe I'll do a photo of this or do a little video of this on the game board show what it looks like. Thanks for joining me.